Okay then, for this last part we've got to show that the root alpha for this equation when it equals 0 is 1.291 then to 3 decimal places. And we do it by a change of sign, that's what we're asked to do. And how does it work? Well basically, let's just draw our axis again, our x-axis and if this is our y-axis and we're going to draw the graph of y equals f of x, we've already established in the first part that the root lies between 1.2 and 1.3. But let's just zoom in on that interval somewhere close to this value here. If we're working to three decimal places, just think of three points on this x-axis. This point here well this point here will have as 1.291 and the one before this would be 1.290 and the one bef after the 1.291 would be 1.292 okay now if the graph is to pass close to this point here then it's got to cross over somewhere between there and there, the midpoints of these two intervals. The graph's got to come through something like this. Well, what is this point? This point is 1.2905 and this point here would be 1.2915. So what I'm hoping for is that we can show that the graph is positive at this point here and negative at this point here. We know the graph is coming down something like this through the x-axis from the first part but the question is will it pass between these two points and if it does it's going to be closer to 1.291 then to 3dp. So that's how we basically go about proving this. So all I need to do then is first of all work out what f of the 1.2905 value is going to be. So f of 1.2905. All we need to do then is just substitute it into here. Cosec, remember, is going to be over uh, 1 over sine x, so that's going to be 4 divided by the sine of 1.2905. And then we've got minus 4 times 1.2905 and then plus 1. Remember to have your calculator in radians mode and if you do this what you find you get is 0.000456 and so on. Okay so check that out on your calculator. And similarly if you were to work out now f of this value 1.2915 1.2915 do much the same kind of thing as you just did up here you'll find that you get a negative value minus 0.00475 and so on. So you can see then that this is gone from a positive value greater than zero to a negative value less than zero. So clearly then our graph is coming down through here okay something like that okay so it's going to be closer to the 1.291 to three decimal places. So just to summarize you could just say that therefore since the change in sign since the change in sign okay we could say that alpha equals 1.29123 dp three decimal places. Alright